so we we went to the uh the oncologist and um we had to to do a uh an ultrasound so far we think it is um a single solid mass between his his colon and his spine which is oddly enough the fact that it's one mass is actually sort of good news yeah yeah i know it is because it means it hasn't spread but we don't know yet we have to do an x-ray of his his uh the rest of his chest to find out and also they had to do uh ultrasounds on the poor dog and um they uh they, they had they had to shave the dog they're, they're they had to shave his belly <laughs> he's just walking around with like a, a full quarter of his fur gone but little valkyrie's belly is just starting to go back in from her spay you actually managed to get her to the vet huh no we had her spayed when we first trapped her ah um we just we need to get the rest of her vaccinations and everything and just you know make sure she doesn't have she's not a zombie or anything she's very sweet until you try to grab her and then she turns into a demon from hell well she thinks you're trying to eat her so that makes sense <laughs> yeah. um we, we we obviously surgery's out of the question for loki um given where it is a little well, he's an older dog isn't he well yeah but that but it's also it's between his colon and his spine it's, it's yeah. really deep. and also a little apparently the the bad news but it's not terrible yet but a little piece of it is actually in his spine is oh. but otherwise uh the prednisone's helping he's doing well although we are having to deal with the fact that he has to drink a lot and pee a lot now and um he doesn't quite understand that he has he has to pee more yeah. He doesn't get it. He's not incontinent. He's just like, what the night? No, not again. Again? Today, we, he he doesn't know how to tell me he needs to go out. Today, we had a panic piddle event. Oh, dear. Where instead of telling me he needs to go out, he raced from one end of the house to the other, just a dribbling the whole way. The bedroom and the hall and the kitchen and the living room and the den. There's just it's on the in the carpet. It's on the wood. It's everywhere. They do make doggy diapers. He's not there yet. It's just okay. it's, it's a matter of I I was like, oh god, so I had I had so much cleaning up today. So much. That sounds fun. Derek, every now and then, I I think. I, I always said, like, I don't want to have kids because I don't want to have to clean up somebody else's poop. <laughs> and then you got cats. Yeah. And then, like, when I used to work at the, the, the rescue, like, I was literally following a paraplegic cat whose diaper had come off one day around wiping up her poop behind her off the floor as it came out of her butt. Yeah. And I was like, I'm so glad I didn't have kids so I don't have to clean up poop. Well. You don't have to send them to college. There is that. There is that. And if they're little Ooh, apples, la. nobody's going to judge me for it. They just expect them to be little Ooh, la. apples. That's a decent. And they'll never grow up Republican. <laughs> as far as you know. Um, well, they won't get to vote. <laughs> All right, let's get the intro going. Um, go. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You Live? Um, hey, you know, we, oh, we're going to get, we're, we're going to get comments this week, and you know what? Fuck every single one of them. Fuck every single one of them. I I I do I, I I do not I I have no shits to give no fucks to give I'm completely out. Um. Uh, so after the insurrection, because that's what it was, and the 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 new administration has been uh, coming in and slowly but surely wiping up these imbeciles who. It, Went in, who who just happily left a trail of evidence 
Yeah. The likes of which that if you tried to write this into a script. I mean, some of them literally left DNA. Hmm. If you tried to submit this as a movie, you would get laughed out of every studio in Hollywood. Nobody's yet, that stupid. And yet, this this one. Normally, I I'm not I, I don't bring these one up, but this one is just Jesus Christ. <laughs> this fucking guy. Oh my God! Capital <laughs> riot suspect war. I was there. Shirt when arrested. Garrett Miller didn't speak to law enforcement officers who arrested him on charges. He stormed the U.S. Capitol in January, but the T-shirt he was wearing at his Dallas home that day sent a clear and possibly incriminating message. <laughs> Miller's shirt had a photograph of former President Donald Trump, and it said, Take America Back, and I was there, Washington, D.C., January 6, 2021. Looks, I know you may have questions about my I was there, Washington, D.C., January 6, 2021 t-shirt, but I feel like those questions have been answered by the shirt. I, did, uh, I got this as a gift. <laughs> Lesser Godzilla, is, less, uh, Lesser Dr. Godzilla in the channel says, uh, do Miranda Wrights cover confession by t-shirts? Hmm. Is is that is we're gonna be setting a precedence here? Um like Jesus Christ, what the fuck were you thinking? I know what I they don't were thinking. I feel that I've done anything wrong and now I'm being locked up. Well, you know what? Facts don't care about your feelings. <laughs> I don't feel I did anything wrong. Yeah, well you probably should check those. Because I think yeah. you may be having some issues with feelings. <sighs> I mean, Jesus, that fucking. Uh. After Miller posted a selfie showing himself inside the Capitol building, another Facebook user wrote, bro, you got in? Nice. Miller replied, quote, just wanted to incriminate myself a little. Lol. Mission accomplished. He's going to roll up in court and be like, oh, I, I didn't do it. I, I was sick that day. <sighs> oh, he threatened to kill AOC. Of course he did. That's par for the course there. Like, On Twitter. You would think after having done it, after lived through the past few months and seen the response of your fellow fucking Americans to what you did, maybe you would have tried to, I don't know, leave? Run? Like, I know these people are immune to things like shame or embarrassment. Hey, these people but are... But are you immune to survival? Like, it's like they've never encountered consequences ever. Like, ever. God grant me the confidence of a mediocre white man. Right? Jesus Christ. Uh, speaking of, co of overconfidence, holy shit. Um... There, there's an expression in, uh, and it's considered fanciful. It's, it's uh, a court expression, an orgy of evidence. It's this idea that that you know you'll have it all laid out right in front of you. It never, it's never, it supposedly never happens that way. That, that's not a thing that that happens. Well, did it happen? Central Pennsylvania investigators find drugs after intercepting suspicious partial parcel in bedford now this might sound a little light at first we'll get there home of a 31 year old man was searched after investigators say they interrupt intercepted a suspicious parcel that was being mailed there jeffrey sheeter of everett was charged with a felony count of possession with intent to deliver other minor counts for related offenses uh on march 25th a federal agent from the u.s inspection services and state police troopers began their investigation after seize intercepting the suspicious drug package noting there were prior narcotic seizures going to the address as well as the associated sender. 
Investigators said they went to Sheeter's address, written on the package, but he wasn't home, and said another person entered the door, letting out a strong smell of marijuana. That's, that's great. Um, now, here's the, here's the orgy of evidence. Once inside, they found nearly 200 Xanax pills, 300 doses of LSD, several pounds of marijuana, 500 THC cartridges, a large number of psychedelic mushrooms, THC edibles, packaging materials, digital scales, approximately 39 grams of cocaine, and a cell phone. You have- I don't think that last one's illegal. No, but you have intent to distribute all wrapped up with a nice fucking bow. Yeah. What are THC cartridges? It's for uh, vapes. Do you put that in the printer so the paper stops jamming? <laughs> no. It's or will the paper jam more? It's for vape. It's for, it's for vaping. Oh. <laughs> it's 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 the uh, it's it's vape marijuana vaping. What are marijuana tablets? I I just. Motherfucker. Yeah, that's a lot of fucking drugs. You sent it in the mail. In the... Apparently he's running a fucking drug Etsy shop. In the goddamn... Look. I don't know where people get this idea that they can't look in your mail. They yeah. can absolutely look in your mail. Th th there's nothing that says the United States Postal Service can't look in your... They can look in your mail. They can open up all your shit. They can do that. Quite often, they have law enforcement comes in and says, hey, can we open up all the shit? And the U.S. Postal Service says, yes. You know why? Because we are also a branch of the United States government. We are not a private enterprise. You do not require a warrant. Come on in. Well, they may require a warrant sometimes, but still... That's just so much drugs. <laughs> Somebody was getting, you know, got the got got their inventory in. I love the person answered the door. Hi, oh, uh, he's not. Yeah. They they literally. Uh, no, I don't. I don't know anything about any drugs. Man. He wasn't home since the res wasn't resident house. Dave's not here. They literally. <laughs> yes, it was literally. It was literally. Dave's not here, man. There's like, like a bunch of of twelve year olds who shouldn't be watching this. Watching this, going, what? What's funny about that? I don't understand. Who's Dave? The, the fetus is in the channel. Yeah, I got a question on TikTok about the show, and I answered it. And I don't talk about the show that much on TikTok because my nieces are on there. Yeah. Um, and I got like three comments. They're like, "Oh my god, I've been watching since I was fourteen, and I'm like, why? No. <laughs> Where are your parents? Yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Like I, there's if you're, no, if you're under eighteen, go to bed right now. Yeah, you should not be watching this. You're causing me problems. What? The, just wait a few fucking years, Jesus. Yeah, but even, but you even, catch up. but even still, like there are people right now who are eighteen years old. And if you did, Dave's not here, man, they're not gonna fucking get it. Yeah, yeah. We are antiques. Anyway. Um, next up, this is another one of those <laughs> fucking YouTube was a fucking mistake. Straight up, YouTube. I say this, you're, some of you are watching this right now. <laughs> we are on the YouTube. Um, holy shit. Uh, of course, you know, this actually worked out in everyone's advantage this time, but it was still a fucking mistake because you're a fucking idiot. Please say they found Mafia Fugitive on YouTube posting cooking tutorials. <laughs> An alleged Mafia Fugitive hiding from Italian police in the Dominican Republic was arrested after being sh after uh, after being spotted showing off his cooking skills in instructional videos he posted on YouTube. I mean, I, I bet he can fucking cook, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, insert Goodfellas reference here. Uh, Mark Farron Claude Biart, an alleged member of the uh, 
Nedringetti, I think I'm saying that right. Yeah, I'm probably know. sure I don't want to say that right. Criminal organization based in southern Italy reportedly hid his face in the cooking videos, but failed to hide his tattoos, <laughs> leading to his identification. Man have been hiding. People will notice those. Yeah, especially if they're distinctive and criminal. Yeah. Man have been hiding since law enforcement ordered his arrest in 2014 for criminal drug trafficking on behalf of the clan uh 53 year old didn't keep his recipe secret but was off al always careful to hide his face filming the youtube videos while laying low from police on a sandy beach in the caribbean not clear whether the videos are still online but he and his wife appear to have uploaded several cooking tutorials for italian recipes including ones where his tattoos were clearly visible you are really going to be the mafia member. And, and, and I don't know if, if the whole, the, 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 the myths about the mafia and the whole silence and all that thing, you're really going to be the dude who got busted on YouTube. Yeah. Fucking YouTube. Try and explain that one to everyone else in prison. I don't think that's going to go over quite as quite very well. You know, look, I might be a drug trafficking murderer, but I just don't think anybody should have to eat bad gravy, eh? <laughs> oh, we're going to get comments. We're going to get fucking comments. Uh, people are like, yeah, but were they good? Were the recipes good? I don't fucking, I don't want to see his recipes, not going to lie. I, I don't know. Iron Heights Chef. Aw, oh, that's terrible. Th th this recipe is great if you need to get rid of a body. We're going to just grind up a whole pig. But you could use any kind of meat. You know what I'm saying? And now Army Hammer's watching. Um, uh, had to slide that one in there. Sorry. Uh, so I just... It, fucking why you're a fugitive you don't get to do youtube anymore why would you why would you want to i i don't know like I, you're you're a capo in the crime family yeah but what i really want to do is be a youtuber i know right it's not like you fucking need the cash do you no what are you doing? Oh, uh, speaking of what are you doing? And hey, it's it's fucking Florida. Who here has been fired? I've been fired. You've been fired. I have. Anybody else here watching? You've been fired. It sucks. Sometimes you've been rightfully fired. Sometimes you haven't. That's just welcome to fucking twentieth twenty first century capitalism. It's just how it goes. But for all the times I've been fired, there's one thing I can say with absolute certainty that I have never done. I have never have I ever mailed suspicious white powder to my former employers. No. Glory woman has pled guilty to mailing threatening letters containing white powder to elementary schools where she previously worked. Elementary schools where she previously worked as a teacher. You're Maria, a bad person. Maria Bassi Laro, 66. Fucking officially, it's 66. That's Social Security. I would say the termination was for cause. Right? <laughs> I don't think she's getting that social security, by the way. Faces up to 15 years in prison after pleading guilty Thursday in Tampa federal court to three counts of making hoaxes that appeared to involve a biological agent or toxin. In August and September of 2018, Laro sent threatening mailings to employees at four central Florida elementary schools where she had previously worked as a teacher. All four contained suspicious powder and three included notes indicating they were, quote, punishment. This Tesla. person was an elementary school teacher. Yep. Tess later showed it was you know baking soda. Kids kids can watch this show. It's fine. <laughs> what are we going to do? Like, how bad 
can we fucking do? Laura had effectively been fired for poor performance from each of the schools. So wait. She got fired once. Somebody else hired her. She got fired again. Somebody else hired her. She got fired again. Somebody else hired her. She's somebody's daughter or something. I, I 66. Who, who, whose daughter is she? Moses? <laughs> she knows the guy who was doing the Italian cooking. There you go. <sighs> <laughs> Uh, oh. La Laura admitted her plea agreement. She had sent the mailings because she was upset and wanted to the victims to believe they'd exposed to a deadly biological toxin. Why in the... Like, I have been angry at people. Oh, yeah. I do my best not to wish ill on other people because that's wrong. I try to comfort myself with really inconvenient curses, you know, like may you never be able to find the second pa to the pair of shoes you want to wear, you know, stuff that's not going to hurt them, but it'll make their life a little harder. But I, yeah, I've never, never thought I should just make them think they're exposed to anthrax or racing. <sighs> And I've had some shitty bosses. Because uh, I've worked retail. Oh, fuck. Not again. We got more YouTubers. Oh, boy. This is from Japan. Osaka. Uh, come, on, this, come on, damn it. Fucking work. Um, Osaka YouTubers. Stupid plan to live stream marijuana dealers arrest backfires stupidly. Last month, police officers in Osaka City arrested a drug dealer in possession of marijuana who'd been waiting at a prearranged meeting point outside of a train station to make the sale to a customer who hadn't yet shown up. As the dealer was arrested and taken into custody, a group of YouTubers who were nearby live streamed the whole thing, left the video for viewing on their YouTube channel. As luck would have it, this same team of YouTubers, a group of four Japanese men in their 20s and 30s, was also within filming difference, distance of a different marijuana dealer's arrest in Osaka late, late last August, which they also live streamed and uploaded their channel, except it turns out luck had nothing to do with it. It's since come to light in most cases. The customers the dealers were waiting for were none other than the YouTubers themselves, who contacted them saying they wanted to score some pot, then anonymously tipped off the police that a drug deal was going down. Um, Good luck in prison. Because <sighs> what are you in for? Yeah. Well, I set up fake drug deals to get guys arrested. Yeah, it, it, you're not. This is kind. They're 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 kind of in trouble. You're like, well, well, they didn't actually buy the drugs. Yeah, that's kind of a side. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I mean, there could be an, uh, an entrapment or inducement to commit sort of yeah. issue. And, and apparently, you're not supposed to to do this sort of shit. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it's you're setting up your own sting operations. Yeah. At best, you could be called vigilantes. At worst, just fucking dumbasses. And, like, they weren't doing it. They're, they weren't doing it for, like, Batman reasons. Like, we're crusaders saving people. No. No, they just wanted YouTube likes. They, they wanted subs. They wanted views. They wanted people to smash that like and subscribe button. Leave a post down in the comments telling us how well we busted these drug dealers. Yeah. The internet has done fucked up things to humanity, man. I, try, I, you try and explain this to me 20 years ago. You try and explain this shit to me. And I yeah. would look at you with utter bafflement and confusion. I, I would have... 
I I would I I would ha- I would be interested like fifty or a hundred years from now. I don't know how they would do it. This guy could probably tell me. I would be interested for somebody to study how the internet has actually changed our brains. If we're if well, we're still do those studies. <laughs> There you go. If we're still really here, think, like the internet has actually fucking changed the way our brains function. If we're still here, if we still yeah. have brains, yeah. by that point is if the murder hornets haven't taken over by then. Uh, we got one last one this week, and remember the last week we had the dude lo- completely lost his shit over the wings. This one is worse because of where he. Oh, I. You know what? If you if you told me tomorrow, okay, you have to lose your shit in an eating establishment. You have to. It's required. You you have to do it. You're gonna get in trouble for this. So whichever eating establishment, you better make it count. I would be. So I would be at some place like like at my worst, maybe be Outback or some shit. You know. You know, maybe maybe something like Red Lobster. Okay. I would not get myself busted over little fucking Caesars. No. Now don't get me wrong. I don't get me wrong. I'm sure some of you um quite Well, it's Utah. That might be the best pizza there is. <laughs> some of you might be quite fond of it. Um, but I'm just going to tell you now, Little Caesars is shit. It's it's terrible pizza. The breadsticks are okay-ish. The crazy bread, that's okay. But the pizza, the pizza is shit. The pizza is shit. And yet, an Orem, Utah man is facing a wide range of charges after police say he stole pizza and breadsticks from a Little Caesars restaurant, threatened to slit the throat of the manager when confronted and led police on a high-speed chase all over the city. Did he at least do it on March 15th? <laughs> Did he? No. No. According to police waste. according to police statements, 30-year-old Richard Pratt Heilbut. Heilbut? Heilbut. Heil, Heilbut. Yeah, it says Heilbut. Ordered food at the Little Caesars and became angry that he had to wait because the store was very busy with a line out the door. After a few minutes, Heilbert walked behind the counter, grabbed two pepperoni pizzas and two breadsticks, and left the store saying, I'm helping myself. Cashier told her manager, who conf- confronted Heilbert outside the store in the parking lot. During this time, the terrified cashier locked herself in the bathroom and called 911. Heilbert started screaming at the manager. Manager told Heilbert she would call the police if he kept threatening her. Once Heilbert heard her mention police... He immediately took off in a 2016 silver Chevy Malibu, <laughs> which belongs to his father. Of course it does. Also, tell me why this guy kind of looks like The Weeknd. <laughs> <laughs> Manager went back inside, locked the doors. Halbert was also seen screaming at customers in the parking lot before taking off. A while later, a police officer heading west noted Halbert's car passed by. Officer tried to make out the car's license plates to make sure it matched the plates of the car Halbert was driving. But because Halbert was driving so fast, he couldn't make out the last two characters. The first three did match. The officer flipped around and followed Halbert's Mal- Malibu, which was driving as fast as 70 miles per hour on uh, city streets, into the parking lot of University Mall. Chase continued under State Street until the officer turned off the lights and sirens because it was too dangerous for others to keep pursuing. Because of the speeds Halbert was traveling, all officers stopped chasing him. Okay? But it gets better. A few hours later, an officer again spotted Halbert in the Malibu at the intersection of Maine and 1200 South. The officer said, quote, As the Malibu drove past me, I clearly saw the driver of the vehicle and positively identified him as Richard B. Halbert. Richard then fled from me through a subdivision. Uh, and around the southern portion of Orem City, exceeding the posted speed limit, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Eventually, they were able to stop and arrest Heilbert. Police say during the search of the Malibu, they found methamphetamine and a glass pipe that tested positive for meth residue. Uh, 
Oh, no, you got to read the next paragraph. When police asked why he tried to flee, Heilbert said he was upset with how police treated him during an incident with his parents that police were called to a week or two prior and decided, quote, to flee from police in an attempt to get arrested. <laughs> the attempt worked. He's facing robbery, felony commercial obstruction, failure to stop the command of police, possession of controlled substance, two charges of reckless driving, threat of violence, driving with a measurable amount of controlled substance, use or possession of drug paraphernalia, and a partridge in a fucking pear tree. <laughs> All for a shitty pizza. Fucking, I, for little fucking Caesars. Not even good pizza. I like, would, I moved from New Jersey to Colorado. I would do a lot of fucking things for some good pizza right now. There is a hierarchy of, of pizzas. And you know what? I would put little Caesars below DiGiorno. Oof. I'm saying I would. I would put little Caesars below DiGiorno. I would put Little Caesars below um, County Fair Pizza. I haven't had Little Caesars in a long ass time, so I can't say, but like, not worth it. The only thing that Little Caesars is better at than is, do you remember that octagonal school pizza? Yeah. That was like this thick. But no, you haven't had St. Louis style pizza. We were gonna go there. You're gonna get because that's a hate crime. <laughs> that's an offense against the Geneva Conventions. Well, damn. Yeah. Oh my God, St. Louis style pizza. It's like the crust is basically like matzo. I'm not kidding. It's a giant saltine. For some reason, they mix mayonnaise with marinara sauce for the sauce. Why? Then, like, they mix mozzarella and provolone. Which, as one of my professors said, it's a mixture of mozzarella, provolone, and motor oil. What's the top of the pizza hierarchy? Okay, if we're talking commercially available anywhere, then I'd have to say Godfather's. Godfather's is pretty much the top of what you can get commercially available. Not familiar with them. Not familiar with Godfather's Pizza? Oh, they're no. good shit. Um, That's amazing. It's but, got Provel. You're wrong. I mean, yes, it's got Provel, but that is not a feature. It's a bug. But <laughs> if we're talking about, there are places I've been to in New York that are not like chain places. I and for like, It's one of those places I can't for the life you tell you the name of the place. It's just you walk in. Was it like a slice for a dollar? Yeah. And That's the good shit. And it's so fucking good. It's yes. so fucking good. Yeah. They're open all night. Yeah. Because dollar slice pizza, best thing ever when you're drunk. I, I think they must put something like cocaine in it because that's the only explanation for why it's so fucking good. But it's so fucking good. <laughs> if you don't have to fold it in half, it's not even really pizza. Now, some of you are saying Chicago, and I don't fuck with casseroles. So, that's, that's, I don't fuck with casseroles. Uh, but for Little Caesars, I would, my ass would not be going to jail for Little fucking Caesars. Fuck no. I would, I would, there are many popular chain foods I might consider. Because you know what? I'm I'm not ashamed to say it. Those red lobster biscuits. Those are pretty fucking good. Yeah. I'm not sure if they'd be I want to spend a night in jail, much less go to like for robbery or whatnot. I mean you can get those frozen at Costco now. Okay. But I'm I'm not I'm not going I, I'm 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 not going to, to, to jail. No, I'm trying to think of and I'm food motivated. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm trying to think of the food item that I would get in a car chase with the cops over. It's not, nothing's coming up, is it? No. I just Googled Godfather's Pizza and they look amazing. The reason they look amazing is because they fucking are Godfather's Pizza. That, that, is, that is the best chain pizza it's I've run had. by this guy. He's on the run from the Italian police. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
All right. So the, the first it's thing. Amazing. Don't ask to speak to the manager. <laughs> the first thing we learned this week is uh, it, nobody is. It's not worth going to jail for fucking little Caesars. Crazy bread's okay. I, I'm I'm not bad about the crazy bread's pretty good, but you know the pizza. I mean, for fuck's sake, it's 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 it, it just sits there under those lights, waiting. It's 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 terrible. Like how fucking hangry do you have to be? Um, we've learned that YouTube is, was going to be the ruin of us all. Um, isn't it weird how tangentially evolved involved not evolved involved YouTube is in so many felonies? Yes. It's like, you know, if a television network were involved in this many fucking shenanigans. They get taken off the air. Yeah. But YouTube just keep is shit keeps happening. Um We've learned that uh, sometimes if if you're mailing white powder to people who fired you, maybe they fired your ass for a good fucking reason. Maybe they had a point. Just, yeah. And if they had to fire you four times, I think they've extended all the goodwill you deserve and some extra. Yeah. Um, we've... Oh, God. Uh, we've learned that um, you can't send. Don't send fucking drugs to the mail. No, that's that's not. I mean, you might think, yeah, the the rates are reasonable. That your package will arrive in a decent time. You won't have to pay a lot. Good service. Fucking hate the bastards trying to take it apart. Sure, but it's not for drugs. No, man. Hire a courier like any self-respecting drug dealer. Jesus. <laughs> Don't try to priority mail that shit. Smuggle them inside your body like someone fucking committed to your small business. Damn right. And finally... Like an American. And finally, we've learned when the entire nation is in the process of arresting Everyone involved in a very shitty thing you did. Run. Or at least don't fucking advertise it. Yeah, don't fucking like, wear the fucking shirt. Put it all over your goddamn... Didn't even delete the fucking Facebook posts. Oh, my God, it's me. <sighs> I, I think a lot of people still don't think of the internet as reality. And, and people will say the most appalling shit and then just be like, well, it's just the internet. Okay, but you still said the thing. And now they're going to say the most appalling thing yeah. in the comments. Yeah. 